Today we're going to be colouring this piece of sycamore. Hello and welcome to Turning Works. I'm Dave Kappasandon and I'm going to do some colouring today of a nice bit of sycamore. It's a piece that I half finished and I've got around to doing the front because there was a slight knot there which I wasn't quite happy with so I decided I'm going to paint that now um, and that will be coming up shortly. I would like to talk about Maker Central that's coming up in a couple of months time. It's May the 5th and 6th and it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. There's going to be loads of people there. There's going to be massive amounts of YouTube makers um, of all different ilks. It's going to be amazing. They're coming from all over the world. Uh, there's some, going to be some great demonstrations there. Going to be some fantastic sponsors with their stands. All down to Nick from NZ Wood Turning. Absolutely fantastic. It's going to be the event of the year worldwide, I think, because everyone's coming together and it's going to be a fantastic time. So, make a central. I'm going. I'll be at the YouTube stand as well, along with many others. And I have already got my ticket. So I'm very, very excited to be going along to this event. It's going to be massive. Make sure you're there. Now, some of the more keen-eyed of you out there will notice that I haven't been around for a while. That's because my old computer blew up. A little puff of smoke, and it was all over the place. So I've ordered a new computer. It came in. I had to fix it myself because it was rattling around a bit on the delivery and I've also had to buy and download loads of software uh, to do the videos for example and the graphics. Now you may notice that the intro is different, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you've got any suggestions or anything like that for the channel please let me know. I always try to answer all comments best I can so please leave your suggestions or comments below and I will pick them up and read every single one of them. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so we've got our sycamore here. Let's get it on the lathe. It's actually going to fit in expansion mode. Okay, so. Let's uh, turn it on, see how uh, true it is. Okay, there's a it's moved a little bit since I last turned it, so I'm just going to clean off that face and then sand it down again. Stop while we move the rest. Now it's only this actual section here that I'm going to be keeping. Okay, so I'm going to be dishing out the bowl there. So keeping the cutting line on center mask doing about fifteen hundred there Okay, so I've just faced that off, a uh, little bit of tear out left there, and I'm just going to get on and sand that. Okay, so I'm all set up to use my rotary type sander, this one's from Axminster, it's Axminster Deluxe, it's a very good system, uh, this is flexible there, it's very adjustable. Um, I'm actually just using the small discs today, the two inch ones, uh, because I haven't got any larger ones. So that's what I'm going to use. When you do sand, it's also 
very important to use a decent respirator. Now this one here is an ellipse, it's about 20 quid, really really worth it. So it's lovely and clear when you breathe through this. Okay, so let's get the mask on and do some sanding. See that does a lovely job. So we're going to put some sanding seed on here and then we're going to spray black lacquer. So I'm using cellulose cedar, 50-50 uh, mix. Just helps the paint get a uniform coverage. And seals a bit. So it dries pretty quickly. That's right, so next coat on. So we give that a couple of minutes just to dry off totally. I shall defuzz it with some uh, fine wire wool and then we spray it. So when you use steel wool, never ever wrap it round your finger like that, okay, and use it. If you're using steel wool, hold it so if it does get caught, it gets torn out really easily. So you really lightly touch it. It's not so bad on flat surfaces like this, but you still could potentially get a catch on any knots or anything like that so just just hold it very very loosely so it comes out of your fingers if you do if it does catch so just very lightly there we go so this is beautifully smooth now it's a bit of an indent where that knot is I'm not too worried about this this probably won't be a finished piece just an experiment really okay so we're ready to spray okay so here we go There we go. Now, I don't know if you can see the reflection there. That's where the knot is, and that's the crack. But I say I'm not too worried about that because it's just an experiment piece. Now, the only problem with this is that I've got to wait at least 10 minutes. That's till it gets touched dry before I can do anything else. So, I'm going to have to wait. 
So, 10 minutes. Just gotta wait. Oh, I've got this uh, mug for Christmas. How cool is this? Turning works. Sawdust is man glitter. Oh yeah, that's what I like. So yeah, great mug. Oh, Dave's handy tip. If you're going to sit down and read a magazine with, with, with a nice mug of tea, make sure you make a mini Jenga with your Kit Kat, because that way it's easier to eat. And then you can drink your tea. And read your magazines. Which reminds me, there's a couple of great adverts in here. Well, actually, there's loads of great adverts in here. The first one is Oliver's Wood Turning. Look at that, full page. What well on Ed. And the second one is one for Hampshire Sheen. My old mate Martin. Who just got married. So congratulations, Martin. You two make a lovely couple and I wish you all the best. Anyway, back to my magazine now. It's about 10 minutes. Okay. Time to check how dry it is. And that is dry enough for the next step. Right, so the effect I'm going to go for today is using uh, just white gloss, really, from a spray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lathe right down, probably to about 600. And I'm going to barely press this down. So it's literally going to spit, hopefully. That's the idea. Spit onto here, and then we're going to speed it up and see what happens. Okay. Cool, so we're going to spin that up and see what happens. Lovely. I think that is pretty awesome. Let's get you a close up shot. So hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop out the middle. I'm not going to scoop it down to a bowl. But I'm just going to get it down to the bare wood so we can sort of see what it's going to look like if, if I was going to make that into a bowl. But I'm very pleased with that look. And mask on.
lovely. So what I'm going to do now is using a thin parting tool. I'm just going to make a little line there, a little line there. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable, or at least slightly interesting. Here's a finished piece, where I say it's finished. It's not sanded or anything in the middle, and there's a little bit of tear out around there, but that's, I'm not bothered about that, because it's actually the effect that I was after. Um, and it's actually come out pretty well. So, there's the rim. Slightly different than other sort of uh, radial splatter that I've seen. Um, often you just get long lines coming out the middle as you put a blob and it just spreads it out evenly or reasonably evenly. But um, anyway, there we go. So I'm really pleased with that. These little border, that's a nice little border that sort of holds it in, completes the look. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not usually one for colouring or decorating or that sort of thing. I actually prefer carving and sort of organic things, but um, never say never. Eh? So until next time, I hope everybody stays well and fit. Keep an eye on my channel for my next new video. See you soon, guys. Take care.